Hello there. For many in Europe, we've literally gone from winter to spring in the space of less than a week because this time last week it was miserable. But at the moment, we've got some beautiful clear skies. We've got some heat with a southerly wind, particularly across central Europe. Now, there is a little bit of cloud and rain pushing into southern fringes of Portugal, but elsewhere it really is a beautiful story. And we're seeing temperatures way above the average, even into southern parts of Scandinavia. Lots of blue sky and sunshine, but not as warm as it was across much of Greece, but we're still seeing temperatures at 21 degrees. The real heat is just to the north of the Alps with high 20s quite possible yet again. Here's that little bit of cloud just pushing into Portugal, bringing a bit of showery rain and a bit more of a breeze. But as I say, across France, Germany, the low countries, even southern Scandinavia, we're going to see mid to high 20s. Uh, yet again. Into Sunday, there'll be a weather front moving across the UK and that'll bring some outbreaks of rain into southern Scandinavia. A few sharp showers breaking out into Germany and Poland as well. But it still stays quite promising for the bulk of Europe. Lots of sunshine to look out for. Into the early half of next week, it stays largely dry, but Temperatures a little bit more realistic for the time of year, down into the mid-teens in many places. And Berlin, there is a risk of seeing some rain, I'm afraid, through next week. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then for North America, where I'm pleased to say things are quietening down and warming up just a tad. Certainly welcome news. This clump of cloud moving its way through the Rockies could bring some torrential thundery downpours, though, as it moves through the central southern plains to parts of Texas. We'll need to keep an eye on that one. But high pressure building to the east of that will quieten things down across the Great Lakes, and it's starting to bring some slightly milder air with it as well. At the same time, to the extreme north and west, we've got a weather front still piling into British Columbia, still bringing some relentless rain. This is known as the Pineapple Express, and this moisture just continues to move in like a conveyor belt. But just take a look at the temperatures. It's quite cool up into British Columbia underneath the cloud and rain, but the temperature profile, the warm russets and that drier, warmer air. And in actual fact, there could be a, a problem close to the Arizona desert with wildfires being an issue to some dry thunderstorms. But this is the story for the next few days. Then we keep that sunshine and the warmth. The rain will gradually ease away up into the far northwest. Something to talk about with the temperature profiles is we're finally losing the blues, the cold, the temperatures below freezing, a little bit milder across parts of New York State down into Washington, and then that warmth descends further south into Florida as well. The story is a promising one, as you can see, lots of blue sky and sunshine to look forward to into New York as we move into the weekend. Hello there. If you've been following the weather story for South America, the only change through the next 24 hours is going to be this lump of cloud here. You can see it brewing up some pretty intense thundery downpours close to Buenos Aires. But elsewhere, we've got our showers across parts of Venezuela, Colombia, into Ecuador. We've also got some showery rain pushing into the southern tip of Chile and then these intense thundery downpours close to Buenos Aires. So it does look as though that's going to be the story as we go through Friday. Some of these showers merging together for longer spells of rain, but not as heavy or as widespread as they can tend to get at this time of year. A little bit of fair weather cloud moving through eastern and southern Brazil, affecting Rio de Janeiro. Some sharper showers close to Buenos Aires, as we've already talked about. And then further south, it's been pretty wet and windy into Chile, that rain easing just a touch. So we could see the showers easing off of Buenos Aires, but then returning into the beginning of next week, some of them heavy and thundery, a pleasant feel to things into Rio de Janeiro. Mexico, Central America, fairly straightforward uh, Friday and weekend to come. There will be a scattering of isolated showers, a few showers into the Caribbean, but not really spoiling the feel of things. Still, we're expecting those temperatures, high 20s, low 30s, and the showers will ease away and the sunshine return. And the city forecast shows this quite nicely. Whatever you're doing this weekend, I hope you can get out and enjoy that sunshine. Hello there. A weather forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly, but let's take a look at what to expect across Asia. And you can see from the satellite picture, there's a fair amount of cloud across China at the moment. This is a weather front that's bringing some rain, some of it quite heavy as it moves its way through northern China, affecting Beijing in particular. It will gradually drift its way eastwards. So enjoy the sunshine across the Korean Peninsula and Japan. It looks as though we will see some outbreaks of rain arriving there for the early half of next week. So that weather front will move towards Shanghai for Sunday, but 
But on Sunday, on Saturday, 25 degrees dry with some sunshine, a few isolated showers into Hong Kong, a few very isolated showers through Vietnam and North Thailand. And if we take a look at the city forecast, it's a largely quiet story in actual fact with an improving picture in Beijing as that front moves away and temperatures are set to climb into the mid-20s. As for Australia, a little bit of showery rain brushing into Perth, cloudier conditions with some outbreaks of rain moving towards Tasmania, but the breeze coming in off the sea, so not as hot as it has been, although the wind direction will change slightly over the next few days. We've got showery outbreaks of rain right throughout the weekend for both the South and the North Island of New Zealand moving from south to north. So it's been quite a stormy start to autumn. It stays unsettled, I'm afraid, for the next few days. Slowly improving by Monday, but as you can see elsewhere, it looks as though we'll see some rain into Sydney. Hello there. Not much change with the weather trends across South Asia at the moment. That means that we keep the heat building through the interior and we've got some nuisance showers around. So much so close to Bangladesh, it's producing some localised flooding. And you can see on the satellite picture the shower cloud up into the north and to the south. Now, the showers will become more widespread during the weekend through Sri Lanka, but we will have one or two Sri Lanka, southern India. Stretching further north, we've got that heat and then Generally speaking, it's a largely fine story. 41 degrees into Nagpur, 35 into New Delhi. Now, let's take a look further north and west of that. For Kazakhstan, a little bit warmer than it has been, but we're looking at highs of 15 degrees here. And down into Uzbekistan, uh, it looks as though it'll be fine and sunny. The same too for Afghanistan. For Pakistan, close to the borders here, a few isolated showers, not really amounting to much. It's fine, settled, sunny and pretty hot with it. Showers down across that Kerala coastline, also into the Maldives. We'll also pick up one or two showers as well through Sri Lanka, but the most widespread, heavy, frequent ones are still going to be through Bangladesh and they could continue to cause some issues. This is the story for the next few days, blue sky and sunshine for Mumbai, but we will see the risk of showers increasing, perhaps to rain, as we move into the early half of the week for Sri Lanka. Let's take a look elsewhere, and it looks a largely fine, dry story for many, with highs as 40 degrees. Hello there. Nothing particularly out of the ordinary to point out with the weather in Africa at the moment. If we start off on the satellite picture, you can see the shower clouds through that central belt. Now, these are the seasonal rains that can pivot north and south during the seasons. And at the moment, we've got more enhanced showers through the Gulf of Guinea. We have seen some very heavy rain recently through Tanzania, but it looks as though and Malawi, the rain easing a little. To the south, it's fine and dry. We could see a bit more of a breeze and some showers into Morocco, tied into an area of low pressure that's affecting Portugal. So that's the story through Saturday. The forecast then looking ahead shows the risk of maybe a little bit of showery rain into Cape Town. That is welcome news. Desperate for rain in that area. Elsewhere, it looks largely fine and dry, except for Nairobi. We will see the showers easing, though, in Casablanca and a little more sunshine returning for the end of the weekend and the early half of next week. A little bit of cloud and some rain across the Levant coast through the Middle East, but here things are relatively quiet. We've got some showers into northern Iraq and Iran, light breeze elsewhere and temperatures starting to climb now into the high 30s in one or two spots. So that's going to be the story through Saturday. I'm not suspecting it to be uh, that much different into Sunday and Monday as well. As you can see by the city forecast, there's a lot of dry, sunny and settled weather in the outlook.